Hey guys, my name is Monica. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a Harley Quinn look. So this is my rendition of it. I know Halloween is just around the corner. So this is a very simple look that you could do for your costume. I'm going to be doing this for my Halloween costume. It's pretty easy. You don't really need anything special. I just went out and I got like the shirt and the bottoms but you can definitely get them online they're definitely cheaper since it was last year's costume but halloween is next week and i wanted to put out something that would be easy for you guys to do so this is my harley quinn get ready with me so stay tuned to see how i achieve this look We're going to start with the Fenty Beauty Primer. I've already done my skincare off camera, so if you haven't done that yet, do it first. I'm going to use the Urban Decay Hybrid Complexion Perfector as foundation. You usually don't need a primer for this one before because it has a built-in one into the product. It's more like a CC cream than a foundation. I decided to use this one because I wanted a lighter look and this is my lightest foundation shade. The LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer is my holy grail for covering up acne scars and blemishes. The shade that I use is natural. You see that I'm using it around my mouth and I'm using it to conceal. And then we're going to take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and use it for our under eyes. This product is a little bit heavier so I'm just using a few dots. As you can see I only put three under each eyes and then I'm just going to blend it out. For cream contour I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation Stick in shade Mink. It works super well, and if you need help with contour, you can always refer back to my last video, Makeup for Dummies, Part 2 and 3. I explain exactly how to chisel out your cheekbones perfectly. Here's a mini hack. If you don't have time to bake, just use foundation powder over your highlighted and shiny areas, because the powder will soak up the oil. You just have to have it with you so you can reapply it after a few hours, if you see that you're just getting shiny again. For eyebrows, I always use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade in medium brown. It holds my brows hairs in place, so I don't need to use a brow gel on top of it. It works best with a flat angled brush, like the number 12 Anastasia Beverly Hills brush, but a cheap brush will work too. Always, always, always use eyeshadow primer. Do not use concealer instead. That is what crackheads do. Onto the eyes, we're going to use Axis from the Subculture Palette, which is discontinued now by the way. And we're packing that super heavily onto our crease in one eye. You can pick the left or the right, but just make sure you do windshield wiper motions and fully get the color in there. I'm using Modern Renaissance for our red shade. I'm mixing Red Ocher and Venetian Red because I don't have the shade of red that I originally wanted. So I borrowed Ashley's palette and I compromised on using both of these. And we're going to go back into Modern Renaissance and take the cream shade Tempera and make sure you pick up a lot because we're using this shade to cut our crease. If you don't have a white shade that's pigmented enough, use setting spray or a finishing spray like MAC Fix Plus to bring out the color. Just outline your lid with this color and it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to go back in with the reds and blues and to soften out the second half of the crease and make a smoky effect on the outside corners. I just make greater than and less than motions in the corners with the brush. It helps me get the look that I want. Remember, this is supposed to look messy. It's Harley Quinn, she always looked destroyed, so don't stress yourself out over perfection. For your under eyes, it's the same concept. Just be messy and just pull the eyeshadow down into triangles. You wanna make it look like it's dripping down your face and be creative with this part. I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics Black Kyliner Pencil on my waterline to tight line my eyes, but you can use any black pencil for this step. I wanna add my own flair to this look, so take some glitter and I'm using the NYX Loose Glitter in 06 Crystal and apply it under your bottom lash line. Use a smaller brush or even a Q-tip and first put some glitter glue on the lash line under your eyes and then quickly top the glitter over it before it dries. Don't worry about fallout, it'll fall onto your under eyes and drip and make it look more authentically messy. This part is optional but I drew on some wings quickly with the Stilla Micro Precision Felt Tip Liquid Liner. You don't have to do this step if you don't feel like you need it. You can skip straight to lashes or mascara. I'm going to be real with you on this, but these Huda lashes are probably fake. I got them from Mercari and they're super pretty, but when I got them, I tried to find the style on their site so I could order more and it didn't exist. So yeah, probably knockoffs, but they work, so I kept them. 
For our powdered contour, I'm using the Too Faced Matte Chocolate Solil Bronzer. I'm using just a little bit into my cheekbones. And I'm using the Too Faced 16 Hour Wear Blush in the shade How Deep Is Your Love. Don't forget to apply it with the X and O's technique. This highlighter is from IBY Beauty. I got it in my October Ipsy this month. We can't put it on our cheeks, so I'm only using it on my nose and on my upper lip. It has a very light glow to it. I'm using a lip crayon. It's the NYX Simply Red Lip Cream, and it works as a lip liner or as an all-over lip color. Lastly, we need to incorporate Harley's face tattoos into this. She has a heart and rotten written on her cheek, so I use the Kylie Kyliner pencil again to draw them on. Okay guys, that's it for this look. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was easy for you to do. If you guys decide to do this look at home, please tag me in any photos that you take or send them to me so I can see how this tutorial worked out for you and how you guys did it. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, don't forget to comment. If you have any questions for me, my information is always down below in the description. You feel free to message me with any other suggestions that you have or any other looks that you want me to do. Happy Halloween, see you guys next time.